biggest difference for us is that you know, when he's with Cleveland and with that, when I'm with the Lakers, is sometimes you're going to have to muscle a shot off. You have to go through two guys sometimes to create a play or get a shot off. With this team, you don't have to do that. You got a shot, you got a play, you make it, you make it quick. If not, you move it on. Being two of the key guys on this team and knowing that a lot of people are going to be looking at us to lead this team. Five, hey, no, regular one. One, regular one. I do a lot of uh, talking to try to lead these guys with my voice a lot. You know, my voice is very powerful, and he do. I mean, you guys know what he do on the court as far as example. Well, work, White. Yes, sir. No matter where you play, you play here, you play in Mars, you play anywhere you want. If, if you can shut somebody down and rebound the basketball, you're going to win. we got to be a no-excuse team. What I mean is it's going to be us against the world. I just thought to myself, we have complaints during the season that we wish this could happen. I wish I had Kobe Bryant as my two guard or, or Jason Kidd as my point guard. This is everything that we always dreamed of, of having that guy next to you and, and winning something. You know, and that gold medal up there is, is what we all, all been dreaming about. You can't make no excuse now. You have everything that you ever wanted. Every video game that you played and you take Kobe Bryant off the Lakers and put him on this team and, and you matched all these guys on this team to make a dream team. Dreamer, it's not a dream no more. This is reality. It's a reality team. Well, that's wisdom. He's actually <laughs> 35 years old and has been on this earth longer than people think he has been. That's where that's come from. That's wisdom. I think Kobe gets an unfair thing put on him because he's not so outspoken or, or not so. Um, you know, what everybody want him to be. Yeah, yeah. I knew he wasn't going here, now he going there. Get down. <laughs> a lot of people judge a book by his cover because they don't know that person. But uh, once you get to know him, uh, you know, he definitely, he, he has some outgoing th things about him that a lot of people don't know. I don't have anything to say. Tell, 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 tell him how you finished second to me in the autograph sign <laughs> off when you started. 100 <laughs> balls. I did, I did. He kind of won me. Got some work to do. I, I do, I do. You used to doing that, though. Dude's competitive, man. That's all good, though. That shooting guard. <laughs> Number 10. From Philadelphia slash Italy. <laughs> <laughs> the marksman slash Mamba Kobe. Right, right. Right? He told the marksman. <laughs> He's hilarious. I mean, non-stop though. You know what I mean? Like, it don't stop. I was talking to a dude yesterday from Croatia and said, if Dwight Howard comes down the lane, I'm going to punch him in his mouth. He just keeps going, man. This guy got batteries in his back. <laughs> a dude from Yugoslavia said, if Dwayne Wade thinks he's going to come down the lane with that flash up, he's going to put him on the ground for real. Oh, All day. I mean, he just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Oh, you like my look? Hey, I should tuck my shirt out, shut that Kobe Bryant look going. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's who he is, man. He just he just loves having a great time and laughing and joking. Let's go, Phil. Come on. <laughs> All that means is get the hell out of the way. <laughs> I thought it was a play, so I really figured it out. This ain't going one on one. That ain't no play. You've been tricking me in five years. I figured it out now, Cole. You better change your signal. I figured it out. Uh -huh. If you both have the same passion, we just show it in different ways. You know, so it's good for me to be around that and, and to see that. I just try to make sure everybody, you know, feel comfortable. You know, and everybody feel comfortable around each other. One shot. Oh, Phil Donahue? Just having that outgoing type of environment, it makes us come together a lot quicker. Game time. Game. Game time. Game! I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> you almost had it, dog. We know we're going out and not just representing our communities. It's not just for Los Angeles. It's not just for Cleveland. We represent everybody whole population in the United States of America. When I'm going to the grocery store or going to pick up coffee or whatever it is, and people just coming on the street and saying, bring back the gold. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. Bring back the gold for, for us. Yeah, bring back the gold. Enough said. Enough said. Bring back the gold.